Good morning, kids. It is November 8th, and I'm so excited that you are here with us today. Today, we have an amazing Bible story for you guys. It is personally one of my favorites. And have you guys ever heard of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Those are some silly names, right? Try to say those three times fast. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I got it. Do you guys got it, though? Today, we'll be in the book of Daniel, chapter 3. And have you guys ever been in a scary situation where where maybe you had to lean on God a little bit. Well, let me tell you, these three guys were in a very scary situation and they would not have survived without God. In this story, there's this crazy king who builds a statue that is over 90 feet tall and wants everybody to worship it. But these three guys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, wouldn't, they refuse to worship this false idol. So jump in and let's watch the video to see what happens next. Man, it feels like 
a furnace in here. Why is it so hot? I may have turned up the heat in the studio. Turned it up? How hot is it? 700 degrees. Hey everybody and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Nick and this is my friend Les. Thankfully, we got the heat turned down. I think I could actually smell myself cooking. Dude. What were you thinking? I, I'm so Why sorry. Why did you turn up the heat so I, much? I, I do, I'm so sorry. It was just, it, look, I, I got carried away. I was just trying to get us in the right mood for today's true Bible story. It's about some guys who got thrown into a furnace. Ah, uh, okay. So you mean Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Yes, those guys that are easy to pronounce. Yeah, it's an amazing story. You see, there was this king named Nebuchadnezzar who built this giant gold statue. Okay, well, that doesn't look so giant to me. Oh, no, no, okay. So, no, it wasn't this small. It was way bigger than that. It was 90 feet tall, and that's the equivalent of a nine-story building. That is absolutely huge. And Nebuchadnezzar told everyone that they had to bow down and worship the statue, and if they didn't, they'd get thrown into the fiery furnace. That's right. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would not bow down to anyone but God. And let's just say things got a little bit heated. You know what? I think we should really read what happens in the Bible. It's just a second. Press pause, open your Bible, and read the verses on the screen. And when you're finished, press play and join us again. Isn't that incredible? I mean, I've heard of people standing up for God, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego actually stood up for God. Even though they were threatened with death, they refused to bow down and worship the gold statue. Hey, you know what? You know, it actually makes me think of a, a really good challenge. You up for something messy? Oh, dude, do I have a choice? All right, so here's the challenge today. It's gonna be a little bit messy, right? But our job is to play tug of war and see who falls three times first, right? Yeah, so yeah, the first person to fall three times loses, right? Uh, yeah. And so, and we've got our little slippery slope back here. Uh, some soap, some water makes for a slippery slide, but uh, essentially it's tug of war. You I ready for my, this? Yeah, I think my balance is a little better. <laughs> we'll see. That was so slippery. I never imagined it would be so hard to stand up and stay standing. Totally. But that's why we did that challenge. Sometimes it can be really hard to stand up for God. Fortunately for us, we don't get thrown into a fiery furnace for worshiping the one true God. But loving and following Jesus isn't always the popular thing to do. Sometimes people say that believing in God is weird. Sometimes people say that living life God's way is dumb and boring. Sometimes people try and get us to do things that break God's rules. When people say and do those things, we have to make a choice like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. We can either stay quiet or we can stand up for God like they did. That's so true. But the awesome thing is that we're not alone. King Neb had three people thrown into the furnace but do you remember how many people he saw walking around in the fire? Yeah, there were four. <laughs> That's right, four. King Neb said that the fourth man looked like the son of the gods. Some people think it was an angel. Other people think that it was Jesus himself. Either way, God was standing right there with him. And when we suffer for doing what is right, he's with us too. 
More than that, God blesses us when we suffer for doing what's right and standing up for Him. In fact, that's what our Bible verse for today tells us. Matthew 5.10 says, Blessed are those who suffer for doing what is right. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Hey, you know what? That actually reminds me of a question for everybody. If you were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, what would you have done? Could you have stood up for God in that situation? Press pause and discuss. And here's another question. Have you ever heard anyone say mean things about God or the Bible? How do you think you could stand up for God in that situation? Press pause and discuss. When you suffer for doing what is right and stand up for God, God blesses you. That means He fills your heart with a deep happiness. But that's not all. When you stand up for Jesus, Jesus stands up for you. Someday when you die, if you love and follow Jesus, Jesus will stand up for you and say, he or she is with me. You belong in heaven now. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Very well said. We'll catch you next week. Wow, that was an amazing Bible story. It is just so crazy how Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even though they were faced with the trial of being thrown into this fiery furnace, they still trusted God and He protected them. And you know what, you guys? You need to remember that even though if you're going through a crazy circumstance or a trial, that you need to trust God because He will always be there for you no matter what. And that brings up our key Bible verse, which is Matthew 5.10. And it reads, those who are treated badly for doing good are happy, and the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. You guys, our big idea for the day is that God blesses us through our suffering for doing what is right so we can stand up for Him. And you know what, you guys? That is amazing. Always stand up for God because He'll be there for you no matter what. Through your worst times, through your best times, He's always going to be there for you guys. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I'm so glad you joined us, and I can't wait to see you next week. See you later.